Today's episode of Prim's Hood Cinema is sponsored by Current. I don't like dealing with banks, man. Banks are kind of whack, right? They overcomplicate stuff all the time. The apps and the websites be garbage doo-doo butter. A lot of people just want to save and spend their own money without having to worry about all the extra stuff. Thankfully, today's sponsor, Current, can help you do just that. Current is a Visa debit card and phone app that helps you simplify all your finances. Setting it up is super easy. You just sign up with Current, activate the card, and add money to it with an ATM or with your direct deposit paycheck. You can deposit checks using your phone camera, so that's hella convenient. And, of course, you can use a Current card anywhere Visa cards are accepted which is everywhere, every store in the world almost. It works perfect for online shopping too. The app is nice and straightforward. They really changed the game when it comes to money management. Current also has some cool custom features on the app, including cash back and paycheck advances. It's way easier to set up than a whole ass bank account. I really do hate banks. Skip the banks, man. I know a lot of you feel the same way. You will definitely find this useful. Hop on it. Go to current.com slash prim. Check out the link in the description. Get yourself a Current card. Shout out to Current. Thanks for sponsoring the video. Okay, let's start the video. It starts off with Christopher Walken getting released from prison. He's getting picked up by one of these old ass rectangular 90s limos. It's an old ass 90s hood movie. Christopher Walken, a big gangster or whatever, and apparently it's a big ass deal that he's getting out. We then cut over to this random Spanish nigga and he's hanging out with a bunch of half naked hoes. He got a ponytail and mustache combo, so you know he a drug dealer probably or something. He gets ambushed by the nigga from Breaking Bad and these two other dudes. They stash the briefcase and Breaking Bad yo holds up a newspaper with Christopher Walken face on it. Long story short, Christopher Walken is the biggest gangster in New York and now that he's out of prison, him and his gang are gonna take over the whole city. And then, be crime. I don't know what taking over the city means exactly. It's taking so long, man. It's gonna take a few minutes, all right? Let me show you how to test this, man. Like that. It's dope. It's dope, Tito. Steve Buscemi is here, too, in the gang. We got Steve Buscemi and Christopher Walken. Damn, bro, they got all the iconic, ugly white niggas in this movie. They forgot Woody Harrelson, though. This is a progressive-ass gang, bro. What the fuck? They got white people. They got black people. They got this fake-ass Barack Obama. The nigga that killed Malcolm X. Not the real nigga that killed Malcolm X. The nigga that killed him in the movie. Denzel Washington. Whatever, man. Morpheus 2 is here? All right, that's enough. The hell with testing and let's get to the large plus 10%. Why you want to be greedy, Tito? You fuck the sucking greed. That's our price. No one else even talks to you goddamn motherfucking conos. Now take it or leave it. Because I like you. I'm going to take it. <laughs> Same for the bullet holes, puta. <laughs> Damn, bro, how are you not expecting that? As soon as you saw that it wasn't money, you should have started busting immediately. That's your own fault. Morpheus and the rest of the gang kill all these Colombian people, or they like Russians or something. I wasn't paying attention. They go see Christopher Walken at this hotel now to reunite with him. They all happy, and they do this little TikTok dance challenge or whatever the fuck. <laughs> They took permanent vacation in hell, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Is the meeting set with Delicio? Oh, He's yeah. a fucking glitter boy. He's looking to get sprayed, laid, played, and slayed. Ow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> How come you never came to see me? Exactly. Fucked up. Christopher Walken goes to one of those famous 90s cigarette parties where everybody's smoking cigarettes and eating dinner and shit at the same time. They just blowing the shit in each other's faces while they're eating all day in every building. How does society even function like this? How can you even eat like this? Anyway, it's a dinner party and there's a bunch of these rich ass weirdos here. They like politicians or something and Christopher Walken's trying to get into politics too. That makes sense. He a criminal. What can we expect from the reformed Frank? Wait. I want to be a mayor. <laughs> Christopher Walken really cares about his community or something. He want to take all his dirty drug money and use it to clean up the streets. That's pretty noble, I guess. I mean, the drugs is probably fucking up the streets pretty good too, but I get it. 
He's like a hood Robin Hood. It's a hood Robin Hood hood movie. Shut the fuck up. There's this light skinned nigga now, or he fucking Dominican or something. I wasn't paying attention. He got a ponytail also, and he works for Christopher Walken, I think. Christopher Walken sends him and his ponytail on a mission to deliver this message to his ops. Tell him Frank White wants to talk business with him. He goes to deliver the message, and it works out pretty well. They seem like pretty reasonable people. You tell him I don't talk to nigga lovers. This is what Audi Clay has uh, to say. Christopher Walken and his girlfriend, or whoever this bitch is, catch the subway now. Some random 90s thugs pop up, and they look like they try a dance battle or some shit. I'm guessing they want to rob him or something, though. Y'all look soft as hell, my nigga. I fade all three of y'all 90s ass, naughty by nature ass niggas. Oh wait, they got a knife. You're watching your wallet, blood. Come by the Plaza Hotel. I got work for you. You stupid son of a bitch. From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. You think you're gonna live long enough to spend that money, you fucking hump? Fucking playing with me, bitch. I'm not fucking playing with you, nigga. You got me fucked up. I'm tired of getting ripped off by guys like that. You're all welcome! Enjoy! Bro, what is the point of having these goons if they just let you get shot? These niggas ain't do anything, bro. I be mad as shit. Christopher Walken is at one of these weird ass, pretentious ass Broadway shows. It's a bunch of shirtless niggas and a chain gang or something. This shit look dumb as fuck. Man, oh ghost, I'll kill you again. Wag. After the play, Christopher Walken goes to talk to that one light-skinned nigga that's in all the 90s movies. Y'all recognize this dude, right? Is he an all-star, bro? I think he an all-star, man. He an all-star, man. Christopher Walken is trying to save some hospital or buy some hospital. He care about the poor people or something. Community. I'm sorry, what the fuck is happening over here? Why does she do this? What is this hairstyle? Why did you do this? This bitch got waves in the front and a fucking kung fu hustle braid in the back and then this and then this just for added flavor or whatever did somebody charge you money to do that i'm so glad the 90s are over bro y'all should be ashamed of yourselves real shit the hospital in the south bronx didn't survive the fiscal cut this afternoon and i'm I telling was... him about how uh, disappointed i am mm. if you think it's so easy why don't you try funding it yourself maybe i will some cops show up at the party and start interrogating Christopher Walken. Look, it's Wesley Snipes and his partner, CSI Miami. I heard you got AIDS getting dicked up your ass in prison. <laughs> Wesley Snipes and CSI Miami drag Christopher Walken out of the party and they say they're taking him downtown for questioning. CSI Miami's driving all crazy down the street trying to scare niggas. It doesn't really work though. <laughs> What's that? You told me. I don't know. Are you arresting me? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, shut the fuck up, motherfucker! Oh, oh, oh shit! What the I'm fuck? I'm a captain, but... Get no fucking car! Last fucking time, you fuck. Right, You're on your fucking ass. Ponytail Yo goes to see the Asian criminals now. They all watching the Ellen DeGeneres show or something. Yeah, no. You two see how to eye and we make a deal. I ain't no fucking greaseball named Marty Clay. And he pays for your... Cut. Morpheus is at this carryout spot ordering hella food. This nigga hella high. You start by giving me 15 pieces of chicken, motherfucker. Give me eight spare ribs, six pieces of corn, 12 pieces of shrimp, two number 45s. You make sure they get what they want. Yeah? 5670 total. Did I say I was finished? Maybe I want some birch beer. You got birch beer? They have all this nigga food ready in like 30 seconds. How the fuck they even do that shit? They probably leave that shit sitting out all day, my nigga. Just then, the cops bust in and they arrest them for murdering all the drug dealers in the town earlier. Hey, scumbag. Guess oh, what? Oh, shit. What the fuck? You got a real live talking witness. I don't need no witnesses. Oh, yeah. Did we even get him to set bail? Million dollars apiece. So go sign him on. Hey, 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 
We having a party downtown. Why don't you bring Howdy Doody and the Chocolate Wonder? I hear your mother's gonna be there, man. We having a real good time down there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, I'm going to throw up. I don't like this movie, bro. How did they film that? Did they do that for real? Did they really have to do that? It wasn't even a cool scene. It was just gross. You can say that again. They go to Chinatown and they rob and they kill all the Asian criminals now. As soon as they got out of jail, uh, goddamn, bro, how is this helping the community again? <laughs> They had another lame ass rich party or something. Freddie Jackson is here in the movie singing this whack ass song about helping the community or something. The children's voices were so pretty. Cops watching this shit on TV and they hating on Christopher Walken cause he living like a king, eating steak and shit, buying hospitals and whatnot. They get him frustrated because he keeps getting away with all his crimes. So they talk about just killing him and making it look like a rival gang. We can make it look like a rival gang if that makes you feel any better. With or without you, I'm gonna get rid of Frank. They at some warehouse or some shit now, having this fire ass 90s dance party. They doing all that 90s super hard dancing. Niggas in the 90s used to dance hard as shit for no reason all the time. This shit looks exhausting, bro. This is uh, XO Carter. How you doing? Now you got a lot of shit to move. And Joey thinks I might be interested in pursuing it. A bunch of dudes in masks bust into the party and they start shooting everybody. That's all this movie is, bro. It's just people having a meeting or party, then a random gunfight, then people having a meeting or party, then a random gunfight. It's getting kind of old, bro. I get it. It turns out that the dudes in the mask was the cops the whole time. They trying to kill Christopher Walken. Now Christopher running. Shut the fuck These up. 90s gunfights be so phony too, bro. Like, look at this nigga. Why are you doing all this? It's like nobody knew what getting shot looked like until recently or something. Christopher Walken escapes with Morpheus. Now Christopher driving. Shut the fuck. Wesley Snipes and CSI Miami are chasing behind them and they ride on their tail. Look how this nigga driving, bro. Is he three years old? They all crash and Christopher Walken gets away. The cop's car is still drivable though, somehow. How the fuck is that possible? Morpheus backs into them with the car and then takes off on foot. Why didn't you just escape, nigga? You were free. Why did you get out the car? Come on, Jimmy! Just me and you! Huh? Where the chicken at, huh? Morpheus ends up defeating Wesley Snipes, eventually. Damn, bro, I thought you were supposed to be Blade. How'd you let the nigga from Pee Wee Herman kill you? How's your wiener doing, Cowboy Curtis? Well, just a little bit overcooked, but that's just the way I like it. CSI Miami sneaks up though, and he gets a stealth kill on Morpheus. He has this whole crazy final death scene, being hella extra, just die, bro. <laughs> They're having a funeral for all the cops that died in the warehouse. CSI Miami feeling real sad and guilty, but not for long though, cause Christopher Walken pulls up to the funeral and blows his damn head off at the funeral. That's very gangster. Hey, <laughs> Christopher Walken goes to the old guy detective's house and he explains why he killed all the other drug dealers and why he's been wilding this whole time. How about King Tito? He had 13 year old girls hooking for him on the street. Then there's Larry Wong, who owned half of Chinatown when he passed away. 
Eight hundred dollars a month to share a single toilet on the same floor. You expected to get away with killing all these people? I spent half my life in prison. I never got away with anything, and I never killed anybody that didn't deserve it. The old cop nigga follows Christopher Walken to the train, and they having a final showdown or something. These two old ass white dudes having a train showdown. Like a true hood movie climax, right? I'm sorry, I thought this was more of a hood movie, bro. It is. Frank, put the gun down. I don't want to hurt you, but I will blow you away if I had to. You understand? Yes. You can't hide behind a forever. I don't need forever. Christopher Walken kills the old detective guy and he gets into a taxi cab outside. Now he escapes and he's home free and there's a happy ending. Now Christopher dying, and it's really sad. All he did was try to save the hood by killing everybody. I still don't understand this nigga's plan fully. This is another one of those 90s movies that focus more on the style and the cool factor than anything else. The whole movie is kind of just, look how cool Christopher Walken is. This is what gangsters do. It's a cool gangster movie. And hey, it kinda is. It has some cool moments. It has this unique, insane ass 90s energy. It doesn't get more 90s than this movie, bro. Look at this, bro. Shaolin Showdown head ass. Star Wars, Clone Wars head ass. Christopher Walken did a great job though. If you watch this movie for anything, watch it for his performance. He's pretty scary and he's pretty cool. I like seeing him as the leading man, bro. He a good actor. Lawrence Fishburne was pretty good too. He's pretty fun to watch. Even though he was doing this exaggerated ass, annoying ass New York accent the whole time. He was super crazy though. I never seen him play a character like this. Maybe Ike Turner, that nigga's pretty crazy. None of the other characters really stood out that much at all to me, honestly. I mean, I like his gang as a whole, just because they like diverse or whatever, but there wasn't too many standout moments with anybody besides Christopher Walken and Lawrence Fishburne. It's still a little hidden gem from the 90s though, I guess. If you like 90s shit, this is right up your alley. It's worth it just for Lawrence Fishburne and what's his face. Thanks for watching this. Hardball is coming up next. That's another white man in the hood movie, so don't miss that. Shout out to my Patreon homies, y'all the reason I get up in the morning. Shout out to all my new subscribers and all my OG subscribers. Shout out to Current, link in the description. Alright then, I guess that's it. I love you, no pause. Okay, so- Where the chicken at?